Welcome to Academic Game Tutorials. In today's class we are going to study furnaces used in foundry practice. We are studying fundamentals of metal casting and metals for casting. We will cover all related topics one by one. Before starting, if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, just click on subscribe and press the bell icon. Here, we come up with new videos on different subjects to make the academic studies easier for you. So, into the topic. In all casting processes, the metal must be heated to the molten state to be poured or otherwise forced into the mold. Heating and melting are accomplished in a furnace. The types of furnaces most commonly used in foundries are cupolas, direct fuel fired furnaces, crucible furnaces, electric arc furnaces, and induction furnaces. Selection of the most appropriate furnace depends on the casting alloy, its melting and pouring temperatures, capacity requirements of the furnace, costs of investment, and operation, maintenance, and environmental pollution considerations. We are going to study electric arc furnaces and induction furnaces in the next slides. Electric arc furnaces. In electric arc furnaces, the charge is melted by heat generated from an electric arc. Power consumption is high, but have high capacity of about 23,000 to 45,000 kilograms per hour. Used primarily for casting steel. Induction furnaces. The induction furnaces use alternating current passing through a coil to develop a magnetic field in the metal, and the resulting induced current causes rapid heating and melting of the metal. Induction furnaces are used for nearly any casting alloy, for example steel, cast iron, and aluminum alloys. In this figure we can see an induction furnace. So, we have studied furnaces, used in foundry practice. Thank you.